Twelve Gate Treatise. Translated, with introductory essays, comments, and notes by Su Li Cheng, 1982. 12. Production. The term Xing literally means production or origination. It can also refer to making, doing, acting, changing, and creating. In this chapter, Nagarjuna examines the concept of Sheng as such and shows that it is an empty term. The function of production, originating, making, doing, acting, changing and creating cannot be established. The way Nagarjuna treats the concept of Sheng is similar to his analysis of the concept of change or motion in Chapter 2 of the Middle Treatise. He divides the path or passage of production into that which is already produced, that which is not yet produced, and that which is being produced. He exhibits that none of the three moments can be established and thereby demonstrates that production is really empty. It should be noted that there is no clear-cut distinction between active and passive moods in Chinese. Sheng as a verb means to be produced and to produce. So, and in this context can be that which has produced, that which has not yet produced or does not produce, and that which is producing, respectively. Again, all things are empty. Why? Because that which is already produced, that which is not yet produced and that which is being produced are unattainable. What is already produced is not to be produced. What is not yet produced is not produced yet. What is being produced is not to be produced either. As it is said, the effect already produced is not to be produced, that not yet produced is not produced. Without that which is already produced and that which is not yet produced, that which is being produced is not produced. That which is already produced refers to the effect which has already arisen. That which is not yet produced refers to what has not yet arisen, does not come out or does not exist. That which is being produced refers to what is just arising but is not yet accomplished. Among them the product of production is not to be produced. This is, partially, due to the fact that what is already produced is not to be produced. Why? Because it would involve the fallacy of an infinite regress, the reproducing of what is done. If that which is already produced produces a second product, this second product which is already produced would produce a third product, and then the third product which is already produced would produce a fourth. This is just like the original product which has already had the second product and then produces infinite products, but this is impossible. Therefore that which is already produced does not produce. Again, if you say that which is already produced produces, what it uses to produce is that, part, which is not yet produced. But this is impossible. Why? Because to use what is not yet produced to produce involves two kinds of production, namely, what is already produced is produced and what is not yet produced is produced. Your position seems to be shifting and uncertain. It is like this. What has been made need not be made, what has been burned need not be burned, what has been proven need not be proved. Thus what has been produced need not be produced. Therefore what is already produced is not to be produced. The thing which is not yet produced is not produced either. Why? Because it has no connection with production. Also there would be the fallacy that all effects which are not produced are produced. If that which is not produced is produced, there would be producing without production. Therefore there is no production. If there is producing without production, then there would be creating without creation, there would be departing without departure and there would be consuming without consumption. This destroys the principle of the world, that is, it is against common experience, and is untenable. Therefore, the thing which is not yet produced is not produced. Again. If the thing which does not produce produces, then all things which do not produce should produce. All ordinary people who do not produce enlightenment would produce enlightenment. An indestructible arhat who does not generate evil passion would generate evil passion, and a rabbit and a horse which do not grow horns would grow horns. But these are impossible. Therefore you should not say that that which does not produce produces. Question. That which does not produce produces, only, when it has a certain combination of causal conditions. If causal conditions such as time, place, a maker and skill eiffel means are all present, 
Some of that which does not produce will produce, but not all will produce. So you should not refute me by saying that all should produce. Answer. Suppose that which does not produce produces when it has a combination of appropriate conditions such as time, place, a maker, and skillful means. There is no production when it prepossesses a product. Nor is there production when it does not prepossess the product. Nor is there production when it both prepossesses and does not prepossess the product. Thus production is unattainable in all three instances as pointed out before. Therefore that which does not produce will not produce. That which is producing does not produce either. Why? Because it involves the fallacy that what has already produced produces, again, and also the fallacy that what has not yet produced produces. It has been discussed previously that what has produced, a part of what is producing, does not produce. It has just been discussed that what has not yet produced, the other, part of what is producing, does not produce either. Comment, that which is producing is supposed to be between that which has produced, and that which has not yet produced, in another view, and are considered its parts. Thus, that which is producing depends on that which has produced, and that which has not yet produced. If the latter are denied, the former must be denied. Again, if there is that which is producing without production, then that which is producing produces. But actually without production there cannot be that which is producing. Therefore, that which is producing does not produce. Again, if anyone says that there is production in that which is producing, then there would be two productions, that which is producing is produced, and that which is producing produces. But neither of these two can be established, so how can one say there are these two productions? Therefore there is no production in that which is producing. Again, without production there is not that which is producing. Where would the production be performed? If there is no place where that production is produced, then there cannot be that producing. Therefore that which is producing does not produce. Thus, that which is already produced, that which is not yet produced, and that which is being produced cannot be established. Since production as such cannot be established, origination, duration and destruction cannot be established either. Since origination, duration and destruction cannot be established. Created things cannot be established. Since created things cannot be established, non-created things cannot be established. Since created and non-created things cannot be established, all sentient beings cannot be established. Therefore you should know all things have no production, they are ultimately empty and tranquil.